Okay, what am I doing? I'm making tic tac toe. Because I want to do that, and uh, you can't stop me. And um, I think it would be a good way to kind of flex my muscles, run asshole, cry a little bit, get my mind off some things. So if you have any questions about what I'm writing, what it means, what it does, just comment them. You know, do that thing that people do. It'd be cool. Uh, right, so what what do I want to do? First off, I need to make the main. So this is going to be that. All right, so I'm going to talk out loud about what I want to do, and I'm going to be talking a lot about how I would usually do this in an imperative language like Python. So, okay, here's some of the things. Let's make, I'm going to make a really section off point. So this is a multi-line comment. In Python, something I would do is I would have the board of the game as like an array, right? Something like uh, game board would be something like, uh, you know, it'd be um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Something like this. Usually, too, I would have this be a list of lists, so it'd be like this, right? So basically, if I was writing this in Python, it would look something like this, right? And I could tell if a space was taken because an integer would be in that place. And I would have something like, you know, I would have a main program and it just switches between X's and O's and it would fill in these spaces. Problem is, I I can't directly change the game board in Haskell because that would be manipulating state and changing variables and all that stuff, and that's illegal. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I think instead, we're going to represent a board as going to be basically... Um, a bunch of uh, imaginary pieces. So it'd be like uh, piece one, uh, piece one, <sighs> it'd be like piece one, piece two, dot dot dot, piece nine, right? So basically, we're gonna have a list of pieces from one to nine. But when we change the piece to be an X and O, it would, you know, be like piece X, piece O. Um, so what I want to do is I want to, I guess I'm going to make a type called piece. And so what this is going to be is this is going to represent the different kind of pieces that we can have on the board. So we can have this be um, an, op uh, an open space which will have an integer with it, I guess. Or this can be a, I guess maybe a player with a, um, a character, right? So here, let's see, type a char, yeah, okay. So this will be um, an open, piece has an integer, it's, um, so it'll be one plus index, and then you can have a player piece, which is x or o, right? Something like this. And then I want to do uh, deriving, uh, deriving, 
derive, I think, is it derive or deriving? Derive. Deriving. Yeah, so it's deriving, I don't know things. Deriving uh, show, deriving show and EQ, right? Basically what this single line right here is saying is um, I want Haskell to basically come up with some code to be able to turn this data type into a string and to also come up with some code for comparing um, these types, right? So now, if I compile this, it doesn't work. Okay, now that we have solved the problem, this will be epic. It is epic, Alistair, I'm glad that you asked. Okay, so the problem was I was using type and not data, and those are completely different things. But now it works. Okay, so sweet, Alistair, what does this mean? Well, we could have something like, um, oh, piece one, piece integer, oh, for, oh, yeah, open one, there we go. I don't know if I like that, um, so an open space, we have an open space with, uh, one, and we open two open three open four open god open does not look like a word anymore j'ai ma vu open seven open eight open nine cool and if i change this to a player of x player of x okay I should try to actually say the things that are coming in my head. So when I want to print out to the user the um, the the game board, right? I want to be able to put out a single character like one or o, and then three, you know. But I'm gonna need to be able to put out single characters, like the single characters. So I don't quite want the show to just you know instead of saying one o oh, three to say open open one and you know player zero and open three because one that's stupid and that's not how tic tac toe works so i think it's like something like instance show piece where I think it's something like this, where show of um, uh, show of open n is show n, right? And show a player of some character is show c. Oh, actually, okay, yeah, 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 okay. It's a type signature of show. Take something, makes it a string. Okay. 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 Here. We'll be a little sneaky. Uh, we'll do this. Should this work? No. Of course not. Why would that work? Constructor open have, should have one item. But has been given none. Independent show, show open and, and in the equations for show have two. Mm, what? Oh! Parentheses, y'all. Parentheses. Parentheses, parentheses. Tell me how I should be. There we go. All is right with the world. Reload that. So now if I do show open. So an open spot one. It just gives me one and show a player of O. That's just O. 
bingo, bongo. Yes. Excellent. So is of player O equal to another player of X? That is false. Is of player of O equal to an open one? That is also false. Is open one equal to open one? Open two, false. Okay. Cool. So this is going good. What did I just do? I'll explain real quick. Um, so basically, if I was to use the built-in, like if I asked Haskell to just give me the, the code so I can convert these data types into strings, it would um, not perform the way I want it to. Because otherwise, if I said, you know, show open three, instead of it uh, saying giving back three, it would give me back open three, which is not what I want when it's printed. I just want it to say three. So now when I do um, show open three, and we do it, the grouping, it just says three, right? And this will do the same thing, but for the different character pieces, right? So this is gonna be perfect for allowing us to be able to print stuff to the screen. So that is cool. So that's, I'm gonna make a little comment. Uh, define show for pieces. Uh, so uh, it displays um, constructor arguments. I'm not quite sure what you would call those. Components, maybe? I don't know. If you know, uh, comment right now. Um, anyhow, so that's cool. So we did that. We have these pieces. And now I can have a list of pieces, pieces, as um, part of our board. And um, so that's cool. I think I was thinking of having the board be a list of lists of pieces. So it'd be like before we had um, in Python, you had three nested lists where, you know, you have one that represents the top row, one that represents the middle row, and another that is the bottom. But I think, because what I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do is I'm thinking I'm going to have to make a function that takes a board and basically chops it in half. How do you, how do I mean? So say I want to place, so say if I have a single list, so instead of it being a nested list, the way that these piece, pieces are placed is like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so it's a single list. If I wanted to change five to uh, uh, an X, say, I couldn't just say, oh, you know, take take X X at the sixth element, you know, and make that. Oh my God, you, I can't just say, oh, the sixth element, which is going to be the fifth, the five, and turn that into an X. I can't do that. That's illegal. But if I had some uh, some function called maybe um, split at n or split at nth, so it would take a list and an index, say five. So say it took, say this list here was bound to this variable called list. If I then did list and I want to split it at the, the sixth element, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, boy golly, what are you running off to? Uh, if I want to split this, ah, say, say instead of doing n minus 1, it, this is the fifth element, right? What it will do is it would give me back a, a pair of lists. So it would give me 1, 2, 3, 4, and then also six, seven, eight, nine. So that five in between has been removed and I effectively have two separate lists, right? But then if I have that, 
what I could do is I could basically just say, you know, I could have this into some special function called uh, join with piece. And this would take um, a pair of lists, x's and y's, and a, um, I guess it would be a, a piece. And what it would do is it would basically just have the x's in front of it, put the piece in a list, a single list, so it can go between these two lists, right? Hopefully that kind of makes sense. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But, 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 whereas in Python, I would have this main function basically be an infinite loop. I am not quite sure if I can have main set up as a recursive loop because it, it, that means it's going to need arguments, and I'm not sure if I can do that for main, because that's automatically run by the program. It will be a whole thing. So instead, I'm going to have uh, a, a thing, a function, called, uh, I guess, run tic-tac-toe. Very uh, imaginative name, I know. But what this will do is it will take a board maybe i should maybe that's something i should do i'm gonna no it's uh, we'll just say list of pieces so we'll take a list of pieces a list of pieces which is going to be all the otherwise known as a board state and it will return an io action right so it will print stuff out to the screen um uh, yeah, so run to tac to. I'm just undefined right now. But what will happen in this in this function is we're going to get some input. So we're going to mm, actually hmm. I think what we're going to do is this function also needs to know who is the player that is placing a piece, okay? So it's going to take the board state, and it's also going to take a um, a player, right? And this is going to be a, a piece, I guess. Or, no, oh, for fuck's sake. It will take a, a board and... Uh, Let's just try it being a single character. And so what this is going to do is it's going to get um, input. So basically, um, chosen, uh, let's say, raw choice. This is really not good variable naming. And it will get the string version or the character version of the choice that uh, wants to be basically the, because the board is going to be printed out to the user, something like um, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, da, 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 uh, six, seven, eight, nine, right? It'll be printed out something like this. And so if it's an open space that the player can move their piece into, it'll have a number. Otherwise, it'll be like an X or an O or something. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want a function that will get input but it will only allow for inputs for spaces that are not taken. So maybe this would be called something like um, uh, uh, get piece uh, position, something like that. Um, but once we have that, and this 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 function will also make sure that it's a valid place. So the person isn't saying, "Oh, I want to place my my piece on 
the place called A. That's not going to work. It needs to be a single digit. Once we do that, we're going to recursively run run tic tac. Well, for fuck, um, we need to recursive. We need to check. So we're gonna need an if statement, I guess. Um, hmm. When I did this, when I did something similar to this with the, uh, with the rock paper, well not the rock paper scissors, but with the guessing game, I had the code that, basically I had a separate function that would check if the player had won, and if it did, it basically said you won. But if you didn't, as in your number was less than or greater than the the number you need to guess, it would recursively call the the function that would get input so that it would become an infinite loop. I think we are going to do, I guess maybe a similar thing. So I guess we'll do something like um, check, um, hmm, yeah, check, uh, uh, board state. I guess it would be something like that. And what we're going to pass in is, well, no, hmm, we'll, we'll get something like new board, and we'll do this by place piece, and it's going to take the board, and then it's going to take the player piece um, like this. And then we can do something akin to uh, check board state. And so this will take the new board. And so it'll check the new board that we have. But also this will need to get the raw choice. So this will get the check this board state, and it will also pipe in the character of the current player, so that we can flip it to the next player. So it'd be something like this, right? We get input that's a valid thing. We use that to generate a new board, which has that piece placed. And then finally, we're going to check if anyone's won. And if no one has won and no one has tied, then we're going to recursively call this function again, if that makes sense. Um, I think that makes sense. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's, let's see. I think first, what I want to do is I want to make that function that I mentioned before that splits up um, at an element. So I guess we'll do it like thus. I guess we'll go um, split at nth term. This takes a uh, list of a and an integer, and it returns a pair of lists, namely being, um, namely being a list of A's and a list of A's, right? Uh, yeah, but how are we gonna do this? Here we go. Uh, we want, something like if uh, a takes an int produces something like a a split at this might be what we want split at actually this might be Three, 
we might be able to use that, right? Split at five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But what we want to do is, so we have the fifth element. What we want to do is we want the fifth minus one element. I'm going to change this type signature so it's similar to the other one. Um, but what I'm going to do is remove and actually I wonder if there's um, a remove. Uh, but um, let's see. So I'm going to make remove to graph. Uh, I could be seeing it, but it's not in front of my face, so I don't understand. Okay, so what I'm going to do, remove nth. So, we're going to... What are we going to do? We're going to do... The left part. We want the left part, so we're going to take an index and uh, a list, which I will just call list. So we want a left portion and we want a right portion that's joined together. And the way we're going to find the left portion is we're going to do, here we'll call um, x's and y's, and we'll bind that to split at, um, Yeah, split at uh, um, the index minus one with the list. So now we should have uh, this, right? And then we could say that the left is just going to be, actually we could change this around. So we're gonna say that instead of it being x's, this is just what we want, right? Because we remove that. But, so that's going to be the left part. And the right bit is going to be everything forward, right? Uh, which would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, drop 1. Yeah. So what we're going to do, right, is just going to be drop 1 from y's. And I think that's it. So remove nth. So if I want to remove one, two, one, two, nine, I want to remove the fifth thing, right, which would be five. Lads, I think I've done it. Because look, that's just one through nine, remove the fifth thing, which would be five from one through nine. I think that's it, right? That's it, that's it. That, so, uh, removes the nth item index being n minus one uh, from a list, okay. Sweet! Oh my god, that was super cool. Um, I don't know if you guys agree if that was cool, but I think that was really, really rad. So this is great because now I can use this to make a place piece function, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to say place a piece on a board and some piece. Uh, the way that we would do that is we're going to take x's, the piece, we're going to control and y's onto it, right? So, 
PS. So what the time signature signature should be place piece. So this is going to be a list of type A. We're going to take A and we're going to produce a list with that on it. Uh, given oh no we need an index too so board place piece in a position piece and integer given a board piece an index to place it in place piece uh, at the the position n index being n minus 1. Okay, so now all I have to do is I have to say that where um, x's and y's are get gotten from num nth, uh, and so we're going to have the board, and we're going to feed in the uh, uh, index n. So now, theoretically, if I've done my job right, which I haven't, I'm uh, awful. What the hell? Uh, oh, remove nth takes the index first, Alistair. Uh, here, let's index just so that it's clear. Index. Okay. 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 We take that. Uh, so place piece a board. Let's just say piece one, piece two, piece three. And I want to place a uh, player O in zero uh in the third position that doesn't work and i'm really confused oh ay 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 okay i was saying peace when i meant to say open because it's an open spot this is the problem. There we go. Hey, it worked. Look at that. Look at that list. I replaced the third position, which is, which was a three, right? It was an open position with three with an O. I did it. Oh my God. This is, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, so with that, we have a way of chain of placing a piece in a board, and we have a way of um, crying my eyes out. <laughs> so now all I have to do is make a way of getting uh, an, a, a single digit uh, input, uh, and then you know, ways to check um, whether or not uh, anyone's won or not, then we will be on, be on our way, but we're getting, we're getting there. I'm honestly really happy and surprised that I was able to, when we last left, left off, I made a way to place a piece on the game board, which honestly, I feel super psyched about, and I'm, oh, Oof, gives me all the warm fuzzies inside. Next up, we need a way to um, to get a, a, a piece position. And now that I'm thinking about it, if we want to be able to check if a board position, like if a given input is a valid one, we need a way to... Um, how do you say, you know, validate that that, you know, position is not taken? How do we do that? Um, so this is going to need to take a, the board. Yeah, let's do a board. 
we're gonna call this um, player sure something like that really stupid name um, but the way we do that is we're going to need to make the function called get piece get piece position which is going to take a board and it's going to return a I think it's an IO it's going to be an IO int right because we're doing IO stuff because we're getting input but it's going to be wrapped up in an IO monad I guess get piece position boards okay uh, here so we're gonna say um, given a game board um, give it a game board what are we going to do we're going to get a position to place a piece get a valid position to place a piece so actually this is going to be undefined for a second longer I just realized before the player makes their choice we need to show off the game board so we're going to do something like um, put or uh, put stream ln um, we're going to use um, show board with the board something like that so at some point we're also going to need to define show board which will turn our board into a tic-tac-toe board to be displayed onto the screen um yeah okay we can worry about that a second later so hmm. first of all we're going to get input right bra uh we're just gonna call this input get char i think that's a type of get char i think that's a yeah so this should be okay but then we're gonna do if the input uh, is an element of the, the, the zero to nine. No, it needs to be one to nine. If this is done, we're going to then return read input. Otherwise, what do we want to do? We want to put string ln um, enter a ba uh, an open position from 1 to 9 we'll do that and then we're going to recursively call get piece position with the board I, uh, I don't know uh, if input is a single digit, return as int, otherwise get input again. Okay, something like that. Which means, now that this function has been implemented, it's been implemented now, y'all, I can do... Actually, wait, I shouldn't do that anymore. I shouldn't do that. I'm, def I'm defined. Okay, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, get piece position. Get constructor board. What are you talking about, bud? Oh, yeah, yeah. Board is not a thing that exists. It's a list of pieces. 
Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. I won't question it. I'll accept it. I will accept it. I don't quite understand just yet. This whole thing. Get peace position. Oh, but I... But, uh... But, um... No, that's not done. We... You're wrong. Alistair, you're wrong. Open space. And this will take the board. And it will take... This. But now we gotta define what it means for... That. Open space. And open space. It's gonna take a board. It's gonna take... Uh, an index, and um, if the length of the board, no, that's not how that works, if the length of board is less than index minus one, uh, then that's just going to be false. If, um, If, however, board at the index of index minus one, um, here, uh, piece is open. If given open with anything, it's true. Piece is open. False. Anything else? It's false. Returns true if piece given is an open piece. Piece is open. This takes a piece and returns a board. Okay. Sanity is maintained. I can stay sane. Open space takes a board and an index and returns a boolean. Return true if the index at um, uh, in this board is open. Index is uh, n minus one. Okay, now, friends, open space board. So, get piece position, position, open one, open two, and for funsies, let's put player of X. Let's say, um, zero. I don't know what that promised, but it seems to be working, at least. So, I'm just going to continue. I'm just going to continue. So, no, still can't, because I need a way of printing out, um, I need a way of printing out, board seat first before I can really continue. So show board. We want to turn this thing into a string. Um can I do hello Yeah. I can. So, what I want to do is, oh, it could be something really stupid. Yeah, I'll just do stupid, because I'm not smart. Ugh. Let's see. We'll do show board. Um... A, B, C, D, E, F, actually, 
show board line. This will take A, B, C, and some extra bits. And this will just spit out A. Show A conjoin to this is going to be show B conjoin to this show C. So if I said uh, show board line and I did uh, open one layer X and open three. Okay. So that's good. Um, show board line error. Um, um, uh, list must contain at least three elements. Okay, so this show board line uh, a list of a list of pieces and um, list of pieces and it will return a string. Makes a single line of uh, three items in a board list. Okay, now we'll just be um, interspersed, disperse. Ah, I think this is exactly what I want. Um, Board, board, border. This is a string. And so it's going to be, I don't know how long. Board, board, border is going to be, um, something like, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Something like nine. Let's say nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Border to separate uh, board lines. And so now the function for um, show board will take a list of pieces and it will produce an almighty string. And actually, let's, right, um, this will produce a string. So show board, it takes the board. And so this will be, we're going to map, show, board line onto the board and then we want to intersperse inter intersperse the board board oh my god I need a border board border 
how do you spell border? I think that's how you spell border. Forward border. And disperse that. And then we need to join all that together. Top plus middle plus bottom. Where top is equal to top is equal to show borderline of the board. Middle is show board line of drop three board and the bottom is going to be the same thing except for dropping six. And that should be that. We need to remove this. So we have a single string. This won't work. We don't want a single string. We're going to have this. See more. Load that. Okay. And oh, for fuck's sake, what is this from? Is this from data list? Um, it is. Oh my god, it's from data list. Okay. Type of program import data dot list. Is this going to fix all of my problems under the sun? No, because where does fold r come from? If I did uh, concat, that's what I'm looking for. Not fold. Hold on. I'm looking for concat. That's what I was doing. Concat. Okay. Show board of open one, open two, open three, open four, open five, open six, open seven, open Eight, open nine. Almost. If I just did this, I think. Aha, there we go. We have an entire board thing being printed up. Given a given the board turns that board into a string to print out. Ha 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 gamers. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, now we can actually start working on the main run tic tac toe function. So we're gonna do do and we're going to and I'll do this. So now no, because that's stupid. We can do run tick tack toe. But of course not, because it needs um that. Uh, of course, run tic tac toe. Oh, I'm. Okay, we're implementing main. Run, run tic tac toe. Uh, board, and starting character is X. Where the board is, uh, open one, open two, open three, open four, open five. Open six, open seven, open eight, open nine.
me. Oh my god, it's working, guys. It's working. It's everything I ever wanted, would have hoped. And more. Uh, not really. So, next up on the chopping block. This should work. But doesn't. Get piece of position. I still didn't do both. Oh. Um, put the. Uh, uh, I don't know why that bug is there, but it's really bugging me. Haha. Uh, -huh. uh place piece. I should be able to do that. But of course not. Because we didn't move that. This is player sure. And instead of doing that, let's try just taking this and we want to see what the new board looks like. Say, is in five. Hey, that worked, buddies. Folks, I do believe that we have. Oh, and that that bug stopped. Folks, I do believe that we are almost on the way of totally winning and being awesome, cool kids. Um, and that's pretty exciting in my opinion, in my humble, stupid opinion. So, um, create the new board after placing the players' piece on it. So, that's pretty epic. Show show current state of now I, I think that's pretty pretty self-explanatory okay so now all we have to do is implement this check board state and then we basically have a working tic-tac-toe game that actually runs the tic-tac-toe so this is pretty exciting, if I had to, you know, call tic-tac-toe exciting. Um, so let's see. We are doing things. What do we want to do? We want to implement this um, checkboard state thing. So this is going to... Take a so it takes a board and a character. So it takes board and um, I guess we'll call this player character undefined check board state. So it takes let's do pieces, which is a board and a character, and it returns an IO action. So if x is of one, okay. Wait, I need to do given current character char piece. Uh, give other character char piece. So let's just say uh, swap players and uh, swap players of any. Uh, swap players of X is going to be O, and swap players of O 
is going to be X. And swap layers of literally any other character uh, is going to be an error. Error uh, swap layers only accepts the characters O or X. Swap layers takes a character and changes that to another character. It's explanatory and has both those in common. So checks if anyone won. If not, if anyone won slash tied. Um, if not, continues again. So basically what we want to do is now we want to see if anyone is one. Hmm. How do we do that? This is going to be a little tricky. What we're going to do is um, we're going to make a function to check if a certain player has won a uh, uh, a certain uh, uh, way. So vertically, a player one vertic player vertical win. Take a board. Take a player or a piece, I guess, and we're returning a boolean. Right? No, you're wrong because that's not all. We also need a integer. This is going to be the index or the position given uh, a board player piece and position on board check if the player given one vertically starting of the given position. What do we do? Well, we are doing things of a certain nature. Yep. Player vertical. We have a board. We have a player, we have a position. We want to see if the top part is equal to the player, if the middle is equal to the player, and the bottom is equal to the player. So the bottom position the middle position and the top position all equal to the player. And what are these values? The top position is going to be index is going to be the position minus one. So the top position is going to be the board at the index the middle position so if I had a board so this is going to be the board I could remove this these parentheses I could do board, um, and the index is going to be index plus 3, which means that the bottom position will be the same thing, but plus 6, right? That will check if the player won at all, given a certain position, vertically. Check player... Um, 
check one vertically. Check one vertically. Player one vertically. That's the player one vertically. Board player. This means that either the player one check one vertically board oh wait I guess I could do something like or and the thing we're applying or to is Zero, one, two, and we're mapping onto that. What are we mapping? Check one vertically. The board and player will return true if the player given one at all vertically. Okay. Player one vertically. This takes a board and a piece. Returns a boolean. Okay. So this will be the. Uh, this one will be easy as well. We just need to, actually I wonder, could I, I wonder if I could just roll that into one definition. That would be kind of nice. Maybe that would be something I'll do the, later. But this will, given, given a board, player, and position, uh, check if the check if the player won by making a full row of their piece, right? So check one horizontally. We're gonna have a piece given, then. Uh, or a list of pieces, a board, a piece, and then an integer, and it's going to return a boolean. And so, to, to check if someone won horizontally, that means this will take a board, a player, and a position, and it will just basically be um, the first position equal to player and second position equal to player and the and is the you know third position equal to the player and how do we define these things where the where index is equal to the position minus one the first position is um, well, it just be board at the index, and the second position is going to be board at the index right after that, and the third position is going to be the second one after that. Okay. Which means we'll return true if the player given one at all horizontally. 
So we're going to do basically the same thing that we did right before. Player one horizontally. This will take a board, a piece, and return a boolean. Player one horizontally. Board player. So, or map check one horizontally. Um, so we'll check if it was one horizontally. All we have to do is get the board, the player, and the starting indices, right? It's going to be zero, three, I think six, right? Uh, a, B, C, D. It's too late. Yeah. So this should be if it's compiled. Now the trickiest one is going to be diagonal, right? So I'm wondering, check one diag, diag how do you spell diagonally? I don't know, Di diagonally, diagonally. Um, this is going to be a little different. We're going to have a board, a piece, a starting position, but then also a step. So. The last one is basically going to be the amount that we increment by. So to check this, check one diagonally. <laughs> we have a board, we have a player, we have a position, and we have a step. So this is going to be first position. Actually, I might just copy paste this one. Um, and I'll delete these. Uh, we'll yank this and we'll totally steal that wholesale because I wrote it. Bing, 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 bing. Super cool. Fold that up. Now we can use this and we get to define this ourselves. So where index is going to be the position minus one. The first position is going to be the board. And the index, the second position is going to be the index plus step, and then the third position is going to be the board plus two index plus uh, two times the step. And now that should work. Honestly, I could probably reuse this function right here to rewrite all of the other ones. Am I going to do that? Not really, because I'm really lazy. Uh, given board player starting position uh, and step return true if the next three pieces on the board are all uh, the player's piece, day one. Um, yes, so the way that we can do given board player uh, return true if they won at all that gun Diagonally, <laughs> layer one, diagonally, uh, we have the board, and we have the piece, and we return a boolean. So, this will be true. Layer one, diagonally, if and only if. If um, one 
first diagonal or one second diagonal where first diagonal where one first a diagonal is check one diagonally uh, with check one diagonal forward player zero zero one two three Well, no, three, four. It needs to be four, one second diagonal. Just check one, check one diagonally. Uh, check, ch check one diagonally. Board player, starting at two. One, two, and I think it's adding two. And that should be that, which means to have one given a board and a player return true if they won at all. If so, player won. They give a piece, a li uh, sorry, a board, a piece, and it gives them a boolean. So what we do is player one. The player one, if they won diagonally, if they, in fact, one horizontally or if the player won vertically okay now that we have that we can check to see if uh, if 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 things are cool. Um, actually, um, here uh, type off. If I did um, oh, um. Pieces of not piece is open. Aha. I can make one final thing. Where is this going to be so good? take the board and we'll produce a boolean return.
return true if the game has become a tie. So a tie game. You take a board and you say this onto the board. What are you doing? Uh, given a piece, you ask, are they not piece? Okay, now, holy bejesus, we have a series of questions. Okay. If it's a tie game, if a tie game, okay, if it's a tie game, what are we going to do? Put string lm, it's a tie. That's it. If tie if uh, player one so if a player one and if it's the player x if x one then uh, actually I think I could do this something like that. I could do put string ln uh, player x1. Or player 1 board player uh, o. So if o1, put string ln player o. Otherwise, this means no one has won. The game is still continuing. We're going to recursively call run tic-tac-toe of this board, and we're going to swap players player trick. And of course that doesn't work. Oh my god. Ward. Oh, one twenty four. Ward. Ward. There we go. Oh my god, lads. I think I might have done it. Okay. Uh, okay. Five. Four. Oh! Yeah, you right. Okay. Now check if anyone won if not group again all right five. Oh, i wonder if that's it This might be it. I think this might be the problem. Yeah. That's the problem, Al. Just change that. Change position to index. I think that's it. Oh my god, it works. I still don't know why this is happening, but oh my god, it works. I am so happy. That really makes me really happy. God, how...
big is this program? 143 lines. I mean, I'm sure there's ways could be smaller. Well, with that, since I'm a basically a working, I mean, there's some weird bugs with the printing, but um, I made a working tic-tac-toe game, all in Haskell. So with that, I'm going to go. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for joining me, if you joined me. Um, boy, I am really happy with that. I don't even know how to describe how happy I am. GHC. Let's compile that. Like, ow. Oh, something about that feels really nice. Like, I was, I was able to figure out how to place down pieces without directly modifying it. Like, I thought that was really cool. Uh, and now I can play tic-tac-toe. Uh, yeah. So that's cool.